Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. One attachment comes in with an interesting multi-part question regarding 8th gen, 11th gen, and the upcoming 12th gen Alder Lake. And he says... He's got 11700K. Okay. And he upgraded uh, from a 8700. Okay. But he heard that 12th gen is great. We'll find out. We will. Um, I'm going to sell two, so... That bit I don't understand. He wants to sell his 11700K while he has the chance and live with something in the meantime until he can buy 12th gen. And, and he wants to know... What CPU should I get for my locked OEM LJ1151 motherboard to hold me over? Um, and he wants to know if this is a dumb idea. He's got a 27. He's planning on a 37 and 3080 for 12th gen. Is, and he says, just dumb? Yes, let's break this down. First of all, uh, he upgraded from a six core, 12 thread i7-8700K to an eight core, 16 thread Rocket Lake 11-700K. Fair enough, I mean, I, I made a similar upgrade myself going to a 9900K and I found the jump from six to eight cores to be very useful, at least for my use case. He didn't say what he's doing with it, but yeah, sure, great. I'm glad he's enjoying it. Uh, he's got very fast uh, eight core CPU, that's wonderful. But he's heard 12th gen is great. Well, first of all, when we're recording this, 12th gen is not out yet. Nope. We don't have the samples yet. Uh, we don't know how it's going to run. It hasn't been released. And it is going to require, is everybody listening carefully? It is going to require Windows 11 for full functionality. And LJ1700? It is a new motherboard. It is a new chipset. It is PCI Express 5, DDR5, big little hybrid architecture. Windows 11's process scheduler will be required. It is a new production process for Intel, the first mainstream use of 10 nanometer, which Intel calls Intel 7, but it's really 10 nanometer superfin, excuse me, <clears throat> enhanced superfin. Get it right. Whatever, sorry, uh, ESF. But it is 10 nanometer, so Intel is changing process. Yes. Core design, it's an IPC, it's a core change. Correct. We're getting the first desktop release of Big Little. It's been used in Android phones for a long time, but it's the first time for PCs. We're getting a new RAM type DDR5. We're getting a new PCI Express bus, a new chipset, a new motherboard, LGA1700. Everything's going to be new. It just works. Wait for reviews. We will review it. I will let you know what I think. It might be great, it might not be great. I am gonna spend a bunch of time playing with it so I can find all of its quirks and features. Unless you're just dying for an upgrade or you just know you're gonna buy it no matter what, that's a lot of new things in one process. Intel's usually pretty good about this, but they've had misses in the past. Intel has not always been perfect, but they've been great for the past few years. Wait for reviews. So how do you answer his second question? Keep his current chip. Don't sell your chip. I would wait. I My gut is that 12th gen Alder Lake will be wonderful when it's called 13th gen Raptor Lake and is launched in 2022. The second gen of Big Little, yep. after Windows 11, has had six to 12 months of patches. Programs have been updated. Drivers have been updated. Bugs have been fixed. The 11th gen is calling your name. Uh, excuse me. The 13th gen is calling you. You have an 11th gen. You can skip 12th gen. Skip 12th gen. Because the 600 series boards are coming out this year. But we will have the 700 series boards next year. So you'll get a refreshed board. Correct. DDR5 prices will be cheaper. I'm excited about 12th gen for the future it brings. I was excited about Ryzen when Ryzen first launched. I said in March of 2017, 
when Ryzen 7 launched, I said the Ryzen 7 1700 is the most important CPU launch in 10 years. It was, I was very excited about it. You wanna know what? The first six months of Ryzen sucked. It was bad. The fact of the matter is RAM compatibility sucked, program support sucked, Windows drivers, the process scheduler, the BIOS updates. It was a bit persnickety. The first six months of Ryzen sucked. But, now but myself and a lot of tech reviewers were willing to sort of accept the problems. Well, you because knew that they were gonna get fixed. Well, no, I didn't. I, I had faith. But I put my money and my time where my mouth is because I built a Ryzen 7 1700 and mm -hmm. I switched to it for my daily driver as soon as it launched. And in 2017, see, it's one thing to read about it and hear about it. You have to live it. And I'm gonna build an Alder Lake machine and I'm going to use it. I'll probably use it here at the office. I'll replace my current machine at the office with it because I need to go through the quirks and features because I remember the constant BIOS updates in 2017. I remember everything I remember it went through. That. Do you know the Ryzen system that's perfect to purchase? It's called the Ryzen 7 2700X on an X470 motherboard because that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that 13th gen on the Z790 will be next year, the refresh of Big Little. Windows 11 will have a full year of updates. Mm -hmm. The BIOSes, the drivers, the program updates. Unless you, now, if a viewer is watching and they've got a third gen, a fourth gen, a sixth gen i7, and they've been waiting for five plus years and they're itching to upgrade. Maybe you're the kind of person who's just gonna take that gamble and you're gonna buy Alder Lake the day it launches. Fair enough. But for Pete's sakes, man, you have an i7 11700K? Keep it. Keep it. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.